been a while since we've seen the road in the challenger seat here, Ron. Comes out fired up. Wants that championship around her waist. Of course, we saw the number of times that the Woad just didn't care, was willing to be disqualified by any means necessary to continue to attack her opponents. And ultimately, that was turned around on her. Renee and the Woad first facing off at Shine 72. And I am not surprised to see the anger on the Woad going right from Renee and Renee trying to get away from the Woad. But of course, the Woad got disqualified to retain back at Shine 72. And that had WWN officials finally at the point where they, they had enough and they said, look, the next time you defend that championship, if there's a disqualification, the championship can change hands. And that's exactly what happened at Shine 73. And it was Renee making it look like the Woad used the weapon. The reality of the situation was that was enough. Renee became the champion and has been proud of the fact that she's been able to defend that championship in Australia, taking it all over the United States and acting like a champion. Or was, as she put it, doing big girl shizzle, except she didn't say shizzle. But what's been interesting is, of course, Renee's acting like the Woad should be in the rear view mirror, and the reality is Woad more than deserves that opportunity. Look at Renee running for her life. Loses her footing and falls face first at ringside, but able to kick the Woad off. But Renee Michelle, you can't really fault her for her strategy with how she won the title, because it worked. Might not like it. But she took the one weakness she could find and exploited it to gain the championship. Well, that's it. The Woad, who I will never forget Shine 68, the street fight where the Woad defeated Natalia Markova, nearly destroyed Markova to become the Shine Nova champion. And like you said, Renee was able to turn that around on the Woad. And right now, <laughs> the Woad finally gets her hands on Renee Michelle, and good God, that could be it already, Ron. Renee Michelle had to be, let's say, apprehensive at the very least at the thoughts of this upcoming match, and now that it's here, it's a survival instinct that's got to take over for Renee Michelle because this is a dangerous situation for her to be in. But I got to give it to Renee, though, when it comes to the years of experience and really what we've seen from Renee before becoming the, the mistress of of, of wrestling is his night and day from when Renee started, but you notice the Woad putting on the brakes was holding on and agility on display, but Renee rolls through and hits two boots to the face of the Woad. The Woad now the pin. left herself wide open and just took two boots right to the face. And you got to keep in mind as well, that's kind of where I was going, is, is Renee is definitely experienced. It's not her first rodeo, and though she knows the Woad's a bigger competitor, and I agree with you. I think Renee was really trying to, to not show the cards, so to speak, but you know there was that nervousness, the apprehension coming into this matchup. But there's a confidence, and there's a champion's advantage as well if you're Renee Michelle. Oh, and she believes in herself. She, you know, if you don't think she's the best champion ever, just ask her, she'll tell you. And she feels she earned that championship belt. Oof. Whole body, Renee being rocked by the load, and Renee refuses to let go, though. But got to give it to the Woad, refusing to be taken out by Renee here. Both ladies, something's got to, something's got to give. And it's either going to be the oxygen to the Woad or no, it's the body of Renee. And whether you like Renee or not, you got to give credit where credit's due. As you said, has been a traveler, champion, taking that belt all over the world. Taking on all comers. Oh, and scouted it, pinfall. Woad was goading in Renee Michelle. Michelle knew what the Woad was going to try to do and able to hit that lung blower. Now the pin, but a one count kick out by the Woad. Good luck Renee Michelle because again, you see with that fast kick out the Woad, showing no signs whatsoever of quitting or letting up, but trying to reach those ropes. You see the target though on the knee for Renee Michelle, and it's a smart offense. Think about it, you take the challenger, and if the challenger doesn't have the knee, Wo can't walk. And I dare say there's some viciousness coming from Renee Michelle. Showing a mean streak, no doubt. Doesn't care what kind of implications injuring the knee of her opponent will have. 
But referee Lee Canfield, the veteran that he is, checking closely on the wound. She screams a blood-curdling scream, no. She doesn't know the word quit, Trevin. But again, the challenge can be the body can quit on you. Even if your mind, your spirit refuses, sometimes it just happens. And it could be right now. What a beautiful bridge by Renee Michelle. And Wode is trying and trying. Does get to the ropes. Starting to get concerned at that point of that the pain was going to knock out. You can see holding that knee is the Wode. So Renee Michelle, of course, puts a target on it and starts kicking away. No sympathy whatsoever for her fallen opponent, but tons of disrespect on display. No need for that. And Wode, even with just one wheel now, managing the offensive on Renee, and you just saw it was like something kind of snapped in the Wode. She just started to put out the pain and dish it herself, not feeling it at this moment. Well, why would you show such utter disrespect with such a dangerous opponent, especially when you have the advantage. Tornado oh DDT, and this could be the end. Wode gets an arm to the ropes. Poor placement, unfortunately for Renee Michelle, but very fortunately for the Wode. And forgive me for questioning the offense of Renee Michelle because she clearly knew exactly what she was doing. And it seemed like it was setting up all for that one big maneuver where it looked like that was it, but no. The Wode able to kick out. Same disrespect that backfired once. Yeah, I'm honestly not sure what planet Renee Michelle's on right now. She's stubborn. And you're seeing it. Look at the choke from the Wode. Yeah, look where this gets you. Renee looked great right at the official line. Hey, I'm getting choked Help. to death here. Exactly. So what's going to happen with the spinning heel kick connects and I mean maybe this is the mind games for Renee Michelle maybe she's just trying to make the Wode so angry Wode will make a mistake but that ass was used as a weapon right there and I think the whole body rocking Renee Michelle new champ no I cannot believe that Renee Michelle just kicked out of that insane offensive flurry Showing the heart of a champion, again, may not be the most popular amongst the fans, but you gotta respect it. Yeah, again, got this 10 count being applied, and it looks like the ladies are gonna answer it, but as I mentioned earlier, the champion's advantage is now with Renee Michelle. The number of times, again, we talked about it, Wode using disqualifications, except I think most of those times, honestly, the Wode just didn't care. Just lost composure and just decided, hey, here comes a weapon, or I'm gonna push a referee over, you don't talk to me like that. Oh, what a headbutt. Well, I'm sending very clear messages to the roster and to the office when you're willing to go to such lengths that you simply don't care if you win or lose. You're there to hurt people and establish dominance. And that elbow just established dominance. Now the rear end as well, rocking Renee Michelle, and good God, all the weight on Renee, but not enough. Renee Michelle has no idea whatsoever where she's at, but instinct, she's able to kick out on muscle memory alone. And there's a reason that Renee Michelle is the Shine Nova champion. She is smart. She outthought her opponent. And she could take a beating, as you're seeing right now. But the question is, can Renee turn this thing around? Because Woe going for the kill. It seems as though it's simply a matter of time at this point, Trevin. Could this be it? Or wait, went to the eyes. Yeah, I think, I think literally Renee just went to the eye in the case of the Woad. Remember, the Woad legitimately has one eye and just got that eye ripped by Renee. You see the Woad in pain, cannot see, and Renee trying to roll, feet on the ropes, come on! Your winner and still shine on the champion! You've got to be kidding me. What a despicable human being. I can't believe 
the string of events that I witnessed here in person at the end of this match. Hey, there's lines that you're just not supposed to go over, Trevin. Yeah, it was the airplane spin. Renee was in trouble, raking at the face, blinding the woad. The woad was in pain, and you can see the woad is going for Renee! Not messing around, chasing Renee all the way to the pack. Renee, Renee, what? I, I had some questions for you about your. Uh, I can't. I can't right now, but I, you gotta go home. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here.